the frame. What stands out here is that there's a skeleton on the left of the shot that looks like a child to me. It's pretty gruesome. Even though we saw all that stuff go down in episode five, it's still pretty gruesome to see the way that this small skeleton looks framing that window there. There isn't any voiceover in this trailer, so we're left to wonder what these two characters might be thinking as they walk through the destruction. The next shot shows us Tyrion walking alone, doing the same thing John and Davos were probably doing, taking in the reality of the destruction. We see blood smeared on the walls of the city and fire still burning in the streets. We have to imagine that Tyrion's in a tough position here after seeing how his plan to stop the destruction itself didn't exactly work out. We had the ominous warning from Daenerys that the next time Tyrion failed her would be the last time, and I have to imagine this is going through his head as as he's walking towards the center of town. After that, we see what's left of the Red Keep. This doesn't reveal much since we witnessed Daenerys attacking it in episode five. Since it follows the shot of Tyrion, this could be from his perspective, and he would have to be thinking about Cersei and Jaime. At this point, he might still think it's possible that Jaime was able to reach Cersei and get her out of King's Landing in time. I doubt by this time that Tyrion knows what happened to them. Arya arrives next, we see the remaining Dothraki in front of her, and see that she's probably going where we see her next. If you're keeping track, Tyrion and Arya are the only two characters we see more than once in this trailer, and they're both moving through the city alone. The next shot is of Arya again, and she's standing behind the Unsullied. Knowing what she lived through in episode 5, we can have a pretty good guess what's going through her mind here. She's probably looking at Daenerys here, and she looks absolutely vengeful as she's processing the emotions that are running through her. Then we see what's left of the Unsullied standing in what's left of King's Landing. They've followed their queen a long way to get to this place, and they should be coming out of the battle in pretty good shape. All things considered, it was a one-sided battle, so they shouldn't have taken too many casualties during that. In the second shot we see of Tyrion, he looks deeply troubled. We get a good idea of how the ashes are covering everything in this shot. This reminds us of a couple things from past seasons. In Season 2, Episode 8, Tyrion and Cersei are talking about Joffrey fighting in the Battle of Blackwater. Cersei tells Tyrion that she has his whore as a hostage to make sure that nothing happens to Joffrey in that battle. After she presents Roz to him, he tells her, I will hurt you for this. I don't know how yet, but give me time. A day they will come when you think yourself safe and happy and suddenly your joy will turn to ashes in your mouth and you'll know the debt is paid. So even though in the end he tried to save her and her unborn child, he ended up paying off what he told her in season two. In season seven, we heard of ashes again when Tyrion tells Daenerys, conquering Westeros would be easy for you, but you're not here to be queen of the ashes. Daenerys herself echoes that later on when she's talking to her allies about a attacking King's Landing by saying, I'm not here to be the Queen of the Ashes. This of course leads into Lady Olena giving one of her famous speeches, saying, He's a clever man, in your hand. I've known many clever men. I've outlived them all. You know why? I ignored them. The Lords of Westeros are sheep. Are you a sheep? No, you're a dragon. Be a dragon. In retrospect, I'm not sure this is what the Queen of Thorns had in mind, but there definitely was some dragon going on in King's Landing in episode so five. There's a quick look at the Dothraki cheering, raising their weapons in the air. They look victorious. They look happy with their victory. Then we see the closing shot of the trailer as Daenerys walks out to address the assembled soldiers. It's pretty clear that King's Landing is destroyed here, and her troops at least seem to be satisfied with what went down. As we saw in episode 5, she decided to be a dragon, and so the Queen of Ashes it is. It's a very powerful image, this last image, and and it really drives home the uncertainty of how everything is going to go past this scene. It's also clear that the other main characters who followed Danny to this point are conflicted about what just happened. And that's about as far as they're going to go. And that's about it for what they're going to give away to us in this trailer. So we have some scenes that look like they take place directly after the battle. We can't tell how much time has passed. I mean, there's fires still burning out at this point, but it's hard to imagine that too much of the story will unfold before this scene we have of Daenerys looking out over the troops. Jon and Davos will most likely be reckoning with what they just went through and thinking about how to proceed. Beyond that, we can only speculate on where the rest of the episode might go. 
I'll wait until later this week to see if they release any other pictures before I get into all of that. The ashes in the trailer do make a big impression. Beyond the callbacks I mentioned above, it reminds me of that long going debate about the visions from earlier seasons. In Daenerys' House of the Undying vision and later in Bran's Weirwood vision, we saw the destroyed throne room. Ever since then, people have debated over whether it was ash or snow falling from the sky, and I guess now we do know. It makes you wonder what the throne room will actually look like when we see Danny enter it in episode 6. I mentioned being surprised at Arya's return. At the end of episode 5, I thought we might be witnessing her riding away for good after her conversation with the Hound. The fact that she returned makes you wonder what part she'll play in the aftermath. Obviously, we followed her harrowing journey through the destruction so we know what she saw. But we also saw her change her mind about killing Cersei. My guess is that a bunch of fans now will jump on the idea that she's going to kill Daenerys, and that would make sense. There's the whole green eyes thing that people keep bringing up in my comments. But I do wonder, since it seems odd to have her change her course in episode 5, only to re-up on being a killer in episode 6. I'm really not sure. Let me know what you guys think as far as what part she'll play in the comments of this video. If she's there as things are going down, then I have to expect that she's going to play a part in whatever comes next. So being a main character, being involved, it seems pretty important. In this trailer, we don't see anyone from the story who wasn't in King's Landing for the battle. Episode 6 being the final episode of the entire series means that we're definitely going to be traveling north to Winterfell. Or the players that are there will be coming to King's Landing. Daenerys framing her betrayal as Jon betraying her by telling Sansa was one of the things that really stood out to me.